Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome back to yet another Pride of Nations Let's Play as we try to stop this mutiny within India. Now, of course, we are playing as the British as well as the British East India Company. Uh, well, really, both of them, when you think about it. Um, and uh, cool news, I just got into my new apartment, so it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, you know, before I was staying in an Airbnb here in Italy, and now I'm in an actual apartment. The problem is I don't have internet yet, so I'm uploading these videos at work. I hope you guys don't mind, and I do apologize in the future, because uh, maybe the uploads, and especially the live streams, aren't going to be happening the way we wanted them to for a little bit. So one thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to try to keep moving these armies. It looks like we've gotten to Gangabad, uh, which is a very, very important place. I'm just going to show you guys the strategic cities here, um, the important cities, essentially the ones we want to keep under our control. And let's just go ahead and go back to the regular map, which is the military control map. This really is a lot easier to follow. As you can see, we're taking this army right here from Patrick Grant, who's already won, in a, won um, some battles. And we're going to try to move him into this area over here to stop whatever is going on in this area. We also have this massive army um, led by Henry Somerset. Unfortunately, I mean, this guy's a great general, but he's not unlocked yet. And it might be because it looks like he's part of the... British East, East India Company, so maybe I need to get only a British commander to take over this force, and it's starting to make me wonder if maybe I should take uh, this gentleman right here and bring him back, although these guys are also led by the British East India Company, and we are still in control of them, so make of that what you will. Now over here, I'm going to build a depot. We're already actually, I think, building it. Yes, we are. we got to worry about the mutiny over here. I'm going to try to save this guy, uh, as you can see, by sending him back here into Meirut, um, I'm actually thinking maybe it's safer to go towards the south, away from the Mughals. As you can understand, the Mughals are actually in this area. But then again, we've got, you know, I don't think there's any way we can justify going there. So we're going to go here 12 days. And then from here, we're going to go southwards uh, into Bhopal. I'm hoping getting into Bhopal is going to help us a little bit. But I can't promise you it will. We've also got this army here. They're already on the attack, on the offensive, as you guys can see trying to defeat this army right here as quickly as possible. So we've got a lot of divisions that um, basically are doing everything on their own. We've also sent this army out, and despite having all these generals, we still have a 15% penalty. So we may need to send these guys out uh, in different ways, if that makes any sense, uh, and let them create their own armies. We're also going to take a look here at all of the different things we could possibly do. Uh, of course, Queen Victoria is in charge of this particular situation. And I'm just looking, just making sure we've done everything. Okay, so this is just the foreign ministry. Mughalistan in Great Britain. Okay, interesting. So right now it's Baldahur Shah. Obviously this is a guy we want to kill, but what we're really worried about, I want you guys to take a look at this army right here. Look at that. Uh, the army of uh, Uda army um, led by saheb e alam Badur. And this guy is vicious. Um, he's got a lot of men. Clearly he knows how to use them. Now, we've also got this army over here, the Bengal Division, and I was thinking maybe we could uh, cause some havoc, keep the enemy from the north. No, 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 that's far too, far too long. But we're going to send the Bengal Division to try to take this area. 17 days. We could also build a depot, but I think for now, we're not going to. We put them already on an all-out attack and assault posture, and uh, let's see if we've got anyone else that can attack. Oh, there we go. We've got a few men that could attack, but I don't think they're going to be able to take out these men right here. What about these guys? No, they seem locked. What about these guys? Nope, they're also locked. It's going to take a while before we can unlock all these armies. But for now, guys, we are going to send them out and hope for the absolute best. Glory to the British Empire. Alright, there we go. So the Battle of Lahore, we've got a British victory here. It looks like we lost 1,742 men, but... We killed quite a lot of enemies. Of course, none of them taken prisoner. Unfortunately, the Mughalese are not ones to give up easily, and uh, they generally go down dying, quite simply. But I think we managed to get George Anson out of that dangerous area. Once again at Nagpur, a British victory, a whole lot of men dead, and we actually took eight companies prisoner, which is awesome. It looks like in this battle, they realized they had no chance, and they were better off surrendering to us than dying a miserable, horrible death. Over here in Mangalore, not looking so good, guys. Uh, we killed 666 men. We lost 1537, but still, that is a serious, serious problem. So we're going to go ahead and end that battle. And once again, a British defeat here in Delhi. 
Delhi, of course, being the capital of India, and it's led by Mirza Mughal, this guy with the massive army. Um, it looks like, like right here, his army is 94,000 men, 25,000 horses, 320 ca uh, cannons. I have no idea how we're going to beat this guy in battle. If you guys want to put some suggestions down below, be my guest. But it's looking pretty tough, to be honest with you. All right, a British victory in Bagalpur, only losing 102 men, taking out 1845, so it's not like we're not going down without a fight. But over here in North India, you can see those Muga really increasing their power, and that kind of makes sense, because the Mughals, or the Mughal Empire, was really situated mostly in northern India. And I'm thinking right here, we want to go ahead, we want to build a depot, take this army, unfortunately still locked, but if we have any other armies, we'll send them over there, and we actually do have these men... So I'm actually going to send them, but look at that, 140 days? That's not good. That's definitely not good. Um, let's hope we can resolve that. And as you can see, build a supply depot, and this is already at 253. There is a 10% penalty here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. And I'm going to be attacking this northern settlement. We're also going to be on the offensive. Not necessarily an all-out attack, but the offensive enough to, to scare the hell out of the enemy. So here we go. Once again, this guy is still uh, Henry Somerset. Colonel Henry Somerset, he's still not unlocked, which really sucks for us, but there's not really much we can do with it. We're moving James Neal into position with a 5% penalty, and we've also got this army right here. Um, there are no commanders to lead it, but I'm certain that if it attacks this area, we're probably going to be able to take them out. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take this army, and I don't know how many um, how many Mughals are there. I'm going to just build a supply depot which will help us moving through this southern part of India in the future. And we've also got the 4th Madras Division, as well as these fellows right here, but still no commanders. And I'm thinking maybe we can take this gentleman here and try to join him with the 4th Madras Division, give him a bigger army, of course, something that he can... It's actually tangible and uh, continue attacking. We're really trying to spread out our forces as much as we can. We're also going to attack this city with just a regular army, um, and basically just stop the Mughal threat, specifically in the south. Uh, I think we can worry about defeating them all together later, but right now we just want to stop them in the south. I'm going to build a supply depot with these guys, and try to just beat these guys anywhere I see them. Make sure that the Mughals know that we're not giving up that easily, and I'm still continuing that attack. We're not stopping that. In fact, oh, unfortunately, we can only go on a defensive posture here. I don't like that one bit, but we also have this army right here. To the north, let's take a look and see what they can do. Can they attack 14 days? Yes, they can go in an offensive posture. As for these guys, I'm leaving them here, and I'm going to have them build a supply depot. And at the same time, I'm taking these armies right here and sending them, one of them to join this guy. No, that's going to create a 30% penalty. What if we join this guy? 10% penalty? Well, that's better than nothing. I'm just going to move them into this territory for now. Uh, as far as I know, we can't attack any farther north, um, so we'll stick to that plan, and let's hope it actually works. Look around here, see if there's anything else we could do. Those Mughals need help. Well, they're actually Mughals that are working for us. They're not all against us, of course. Um, and I think that this guy is hopefully going to be able to rebuild this army significantly, because look at that. The damage is pretty significant. I'm actually going to put him on a defensive posture, and we are going to end the turn, my friends. All right, here we go. Wish us luck. Oh, serious British defeat there in Bahawalpur. We lost 10,865 men, killing 8,998 men, 968 men, and they actually took 64 of our company's prisoner. And God only knows what the Mughals would do to British prisoners. I can't imagine it would be anything good. Here we go, attacking the city. It's still not over. Wow, that was a very fast little situation there. And now that we're trying to build this depot, we have uh, Mughal forces really, really taking the piss. Um, so we're going to move uh, this gentleman here. I'm hoping that this army finally unlocks because he's going to be the only guy that can take out um, that threat. Now, let me take a look here. This is James Neal. And unfortunately, no, we don't have any armies that can join him. Um, we're going to have to hope that James Neal knows what he's doing as he attacks this area. But I'm thinking even a better idea would be to go ahead, build a depot if we need one. It doesn't look like we do. 
but at least be on an offensive formation when we go in here so that if anybody gets in our way, we know exactly what to do with them. All right. And look at that. Finally, guys, we get some reinforcements. And also, this army is slowly but surely building up. It's only a 15% penalty now. I don't know if you guys remember. It was much worse before. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some men in this army right here. The new army led by G General Sir Colin Campbell. Wonderful, really. Wonderful, gentlemen. And let's see. Can we take these guys? No, they're not looking very good. We're going to move north with Sir Colin Campbell on an attack posture, a total assault posture, as a matter of fact. And let's see how the rest of our generals are doing. This guy's still trying to run away. We still got a bunch of men over here, but I don't think they can hold out against this Mughal threat. There are a lot of Mughals, and they are hungry for blood. So here we go. We've got two British officers. I'm going to merge them together. I know it seems crazy. 30% penalty. Yeah, not the greatest thing in the world. 5% penalty here. 35% penalty. 35% penalty once again. 35% penalty. If it's not over 50, I'm not exactly going to feel horrible, um, but it's really bad to have a 35% penalty, to be honest. Nonetheless, we are going to try to move in here and see if we can't take the area out, unless, of course, we can build a depot, which does look like we can. So that's what it's going to do. That's going to save those men one more turn. Um, and at least we kicked the uh, Mughal Empire out of here, but we really want to keep them out of uh, southern India. This area must be ours. Uh, under any circumstances. So here we go. That's what I thought. No, Siri, you're an idiot. You didn't think anything. That's the problem, Siri. You don't think. All right, so we're going to continue. And we're going to try to end right here. Hopefully this guy is going to go ahead and build that depot. And we are going to end our turn, guys. Wish us luck. All right, a stalemate in Mangalore, um, and that was actually the general we sent through. We lost way more men than the enemy did, although we didn't lose any prisoners or anything like that. Our men are refusing to surrender, but there we go. That's the end of day 15. I hope you guys have enjoyed this second episode. We're going to, of course, try to win, but, I mean, as you guys know, all AGI games are very tough, and uh, I'm not 100% confident that I can get a victory here, but I'm certainly going to try. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day. And before you leave... Let's see if we can't take a look at the casualties. Here we go. So we've taken 5,800 Mughal prisoners. We've also killed 44,000 men from Mughalistan, um, but we have lost 36,000 ourselves. Well, let's take our hats off to those good men and hope that we can crush this Indian mutiny uh, very, very soon. Thank you for watching, my friends. Take care, and God bless the British Empire.